Okay, so one more example of average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change. So it says, suppose the uh, total profit in hundreds of dollars from selling X items is given by P of X equals two X squared minus five X plus six. So first we wanna find the average rate of change of the profit for the following changes in X from X equals two to X equals four. So the first thing that we wanna do for the average rate of change, we need to find our points. And so when X equals two, let's plug that into our function. So P of two, so it says go in wherever you see an X, we're gonna replace it with two. Let's first put the parentheses where we see the X. And so we have two parentheses squared minus five parentheses plus six. And so when X is equal to two, So we have two times two quantity squared, which is four, minus five times two, so 10 plus six. So two times four is eight. If I combine negative 10 plus six, that's minus four. So eight minus four is four. So we have a point at two, four. So that was when we had two. Now we want to look at when x is four. We want to find the point when x is four. So looking at p of four. So we have two, I see an x parentheses squared minus five. I see a x, so I'm going to put parentheses plus six. So I have two all times four squared, which is 16, minus five times four, so minus 20 plus six. Two times 16 is 32 minus 20 plus six. So that gives me 12 plus six, which is 18. So the point in this case was 418. So we wanna find the slope between those two points. So change in Y, 18 minus four, all over the change in X, four minus two. 18 minus four is 14 divided by four minus two, which is two. So I get a slope of seven. Okay, so this is the rate of change in X Notice in here, let's just kind of decipher what this is telling us, that this X items is given um, the profit in hundreds of dollars. So profit is in hundreds of dollars um, for selling X items. So if we think of this more as a ratio, P of X is our profit in hundreds. And so this would actually be $700 divided by one. So the rate of change in our profit from going from two to four items or average rate of change, because it's just an average, is $700. To four items is seven hundred dollars. So then they want to say, okay, well, what's the average rate of change between two to three? So part B. I'll look at it between two to three. Well, we already did part of this work, right? We already found what f of two was. So we still have one of the points. So we have a point, right? We saw when x was two, our y value was four. Let's look at what is p 
of three. So let's go in and plug in three wherever we see an X. So I have two parentheses squared minus five parentheses plus six. So plugging in three there, we have two times three squared is nine. Minus five times three, so minus 15 plus six. Two times nine is 18. Negative 15 plus six, that's minus nine. So 18 minus nine is nine. So we have a point at three nine. And so the slope, the average rate of change between two to three units is nine minus four, change in y, all over the change in x, the three minus two. So nine minus four is five divided by three minus two, which is one, which is five. So going from three, I'm sorry, um, two to three units, the average rate of change is not as much, it's 500. So our average rate of change in profit. is $500. when going from two to four, two to three units. And the last question, Find and interpret the instantaneous rate of change of the profit with respect to the number of items produced when X equals two. I wanna find the instantaneous rate of change in profit. with respect to number of items produced when X is two, when X is two. So this is where we would have to look at this limit as H approaches zero, our function was P. So P of A plus H, but our A value in this case is two, so two plus H minus P of two all over H. So we have the limit, H goes to zero. So we have to go in and plug in two plus H wherever we see an X and P of X. So our function was two times the X value. So I'm gonna just put parentheses, quantity squared minus five, see an X there, I'm gonna put parentheses, plus six. So let's go in and plug in two plus H in that piece where we see a parentheses. Minus the profit at two units. Well, we already found that point again, right? Up here, P of two. When X was two, our Y value is four. Let's just go down here and we'll have minus P of two, which we said was four. We're gonna put that all over H. So 
We're running low on time, so I'm just going to quickly distribute this out. So I have two times the quantity. If I fact or boil two plus h times two plus h, inside the parentheses I would have four plus four h plus h squared. Let's distribute this negative five inside the parentheses. So negative five times two, so minus ten, minus five h plus six minus two. Well, six. I'm sorry, six minus four, which is two. So let's just do plus two all over h. Let's distribute that two. So have to, um, inside the parentheses, two times four, I get eight plus eight h plus two h squared. I notice I can combine some like terms out here, negative 10 plus two. So that's a minus eight minus 5h all over h. Notice that our 8 minus 8 cancels. And we have 8h plus or minus 5h. So the limit as h approaches 0 of 3h plus 2h squared all over h. So we can factor out the h and we would be left with 3 plus 2h inside the parentheses over h. So we would have the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 plus 2h, which is equal to 3. So the instantaneous rate of change when um, making two items is going to be $300. So instantaneous rate of change. of producing or selling two items is $300. Okay, so we will continue. This is all of 3.3 rates of change. We'll continue with this um, concept in the next section on Thursday when we look at the derivative.